What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you haven't slapped the LaBelle, I feel lightweight offended. Today we have a tutorial. It's gonna be a goodie. We're talking about some of the intangibles, mastering those. If you wanna improve your passing, your efficiency, your offensive, even creativity. Many of you jump ahead and you start getting the skills, but you don't have a firm grasp of passing and completion rates percentage plays. Today we're talking driven ground pass, the low driven pass. And it's used in many different ways, whether you're getting an outlet from the back, or you're trying to progress your attack, or using it as a goal scoring method. In fact, let me give you the four types of ways to use the low driven pass where I find this most efficient, most common, and I'm gonna give you so many different scenarios and examples. You're gonna wanna give me a hug. And that's okay, I'll hug you back virtually. If you have not liked the video, take a second, pause. Okay, now that you're done liking the video, the four types of low driven passes we're gonna cover today. Wing outlet passing, entry drives, the recycle, and then scoring direct. And I'm gonna explain all these in a lot more depth. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn out. My goal is to give you the ultimate playlist. Not rush content, just premium quality examples that I get to get you right in FIFA. And if you want to expedite that, join the FIFA school. Personalized reviews, exclusive podcasts, tips that are happening behind the scenes, player comparisons, lessons, it's all there. And as for controls, low driven pass, R1 and X if you're on the PlayStation, R, B and A if you're on the Xbox. Relatively simple, very straightforward. It's more about understanding and being able to analyze and adjust to what you're seeing on the virtual pitch when to use it. And if you love gentlemen could do me a solid where do you struggle most with passing because I see a lot of complaints we're talking on the live stream I see the YouTube comments this video use that as your personal reddit or a discussion board it allows me to take that information and then apply it and deliver it to all of you I look at the comments in every single video let's get started with the lesson plan we're gonna begin with wing outlets and this is mostly used in a traditional sense when you're looking for outlets from your back line you need to give it to a winger or if you're starting your attack and you've got distance to travel you want to get the ball there as quick as possible. You want to cover that distance. And that's really where this type of pass was implemented into FIFA, was in order for you to be able to speed up the game and have more control of speeding up the game and a little bit of risk to reward. And I will say this, when you're looking at the low driven pass, if you have players with higher passing statistics, they are going to be able to do this with more efficiency and more difficult scenarios, at least in theory. And then also, when you're receiving this type of pass, you want guys that have high dribbling. Their first touch needs to be on point especially as the distance gets closer. So the farther the distance, less to worry about with that first touch, but the closer that you manage, there is a higher margin for error, especially with the touches, sometimes even the accuracy of the pass. Glad that we got that out the way. We have a kickoff here, Ben Yedder, Rashford. This is what I want to showcase Salah. He's wide open. So the big key here from kickoff is that I get Salah that ball as quick as possible so then he can attack the open space. I want Salah to be able to take this pass and then run down the line or at least to go forward. I do not want to go backwards. And the wings are often your best friends or your most reliable places if you're looking to find space, create space, attack space. Salah receives. And this is happening actually in the 90th minute, so I'm running low on time. You're going to see me just run the end line. But it all starts because I caught my opponent off guard with a low driven pass. And then Salah just goes on a rampage. You see the skill moves. You see the layoff. You see Rashford in the 90th. And we move. Example numero dos. And this is a picture perfect example of how to get the ball from your fullback to your winger. And this is something I do all game, every game, every single matchup. It's just very important to beat the team press. Uh, it's important for me starting my attacks. Uh, it just puts me in a, a more advantageous position on the virtual pitch. As you see the play start to develop, Alon, back to Mendy. Mendy has Salah. We need to whip it in. Look at the distance between Mendy and Salah. I want to be able to get the ball there as fast as possible. And that's something that you will hear me say on repeat because that's what the low driven's all about. There's the whip. Now our passing has started. Beautiful triangle work. Salah, please give it back to Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder is working. Gorgeous. And you get the finish. Weak foot, not a problem. No second guessing. Moving on. 
entry drives or being able to penetrate the midfield. When you have an opportunity to hit one of your strikers, you always should. Remember, I'm all about playing the percentages. So going side to side or even making uh, defensive passes or going backwards, more passive passing, those are never your first priorities. And this is a good example. We have Dembele. I've got the lane of space. At least it's open right now. I'm going to whip it in with the low driven directly to my striker. And then you can start what you call the one, two, back and forth. A little bait, a little wiggle, a little work. It's crucial, and it's such an easy way to score goals uh, if you're playing with two strikers. So if you're running a 4 triple 2 maybe even a 4 one 2 one 2 you pick the formation. The idea is to get your most dangerous players on the ball in those dangerous locations as quick as possible. We're still talking about entry passes. This is actually going to be a first-time low-driven. Neymar, it's a very small window. This is something that I wanted to make sure I showcased an example. It's not all about just making a pass that has a little more whip, that has a little more strength. Not necessarily saying it's going to be more accurate because you're going to have a larger margin of error, as I mentioned beforehand, in terms of putting a pass wide, especially if you're not dealing with some of the more premium passers. But you would not be able to make this pass to Rashford if it was not for the low driven. It has to be this passing maneuver or this passing variable in order to complete what you're trying to do here because there's not a lot of room. Plain and simple, there's not. And I'm taking a chance even whipping this in. I just believe in Rashford. Rashford's my guy. I'm in the moment. I need to go forward. I want to put pressure on my opposition. Being decisive means to get rewards. There's Rashford, but we're not done there. You see the roulette running fake shot and the finish off the post. Gorgeous highlight material. Twitch.tv slash Mike LaBelle. You get the idea though. If you want to counteract a lot of the drop back players, you got to move the ball quickly. Very classic. This will be relatable to all of you. In the midfield, Alon cuts inside. We see Rashford checking into that position. There's a lot of bodies around me. I'm choosing not to go with a normal pass because even if it is a half second of being able to turn or be able to run at a defender, that is an advantage for me, especially if you're looking to become an elite player. These are some of the differences between gold and elite caliber players with consistency is when you start adding up all the fine details, that's where you're creating some levels of a skill gap. Though I will mention I am looking forward to this new patch because FIFA 21 with some of the updates has shifted into more of a FIFA 22.0 and I'm not about that life. Rashford, what you got for us? A body faint. Ah, oh, the stop, the pop. Lucas with the finish. Wow, tight angle. We don't care. You go for it. Crucial. Now we're talking about the recycle. And it doesn't necessarily need to be from a corner kick, but there's a couple examples that I just believe showcase the recycle in a clean manner where you can measure the value. It's, it's evident. It's apparent. It's obvious. So we go for a short corner kick. We're going to whip it back to the top of the box. In order to do that to Salah, you had to whip that in with a little bit extra pace. And that's because you need defenders to not necessarily be in that position or midfielders. And you see this firsthand. Salah opens up his body. This is a finesse shot. And if you want a corner kick tutorial, drop a like on this video because I have a couple different methods that I will happily share with all of you beautiful beautiful folks ah oh, that's just classic FIFA greatness there open up the body then Salah let's switch the pitch vice versa now still a corner kick we go short Neymar right here we're gonna whip that with full power low driven we need the extra oomph of course it connects Rashford I even have time for a couple skill moves then we hit the layoff Lucas brings back the FIFA 20 days with the drag back near post. What a finish. What a goal. And we needed that. That's our equalizer, baby. Direct scoring. And I actually prefer the low driven pass often instead of using the double tap, which I've never been super adamant about. Uh, even the regular standard pass. This is a great way, a great method to close gaps, to do it quickly, and to take advantage of players being out of position, which is kind of the name of the game. Rashford attacks. We're still in a 1v1 situation. I'm right here on the edge of the box. I'm going to whip it into Salah. I want a little extra kicker. If it connects, I know I've scored. There you have it. Taps at home. Happens quickly. Nothing you can do about it. I do not care about your pause. We're far from done. I've got more of the same. Salah. Somehow that stays in play. Martial, who I definitely disliked using. Runs, you see the split. Same situation. This doesn't always connect with a standard pass. Maybe a double tap would slide through there, but AI defending is kind of crazy. It can get kind of wild. But I know this solidifies me, not only a goal, but also that the goalkeeper cannot recover. It's impossible because there's a little bit of that extra velocity or that extra kicker, that extra heat that's coming through on the pass. 
Rashford caps at home goalkeeper nothing you can do I'm showcasing the scenarios and I want you to be clinical being able to finish and reading the game and having certain levels of composure will change the way that you play FIFA last but not least I'd love to tell you that it was gonna be a lot different but a lot of these highlights are gonna be similar especially when we're showcasing something that works it doesn't work just once or twice or three times but all the time Rashford Money's position, you can see what's going to happen here. Salah's going to make this run in behind. We're going to go with a running fake shot, then a pass across. And anytime there's a decent amount of distance, even more so. Low driven pass. Rashford, there it is. And the goalkeeper also cannot cut that angle. If you go with a normal pass there, even a double tap, potentially, some of these goalkeepers get kind of freaky. They showcase their athleticism. They get out there, they tap it one way, they tap it the other way. If you put that extra, uh, if you put your foot through it, it's impossible. You just sit there and celebrate. Thanks again for watching, my friends. If this video helped you out, which I know for many of you, it's something that you have not incorporated into your gameplay enough. It's not that you don't understand what the low driven is, or that you haven't seen it, or that you're not familiar, but you're not using it enough, and you don't necessarily have the scenarios mastered, or you're not seeing the game instinctively quick enough to really bring this into your gameplay. Bring it to life. I'm looking forward to the comments. I'll put together more passing tutorials if you want something along the lines of Tiki Taka, possession play, breakdowns, going up against different tactics please use the comment section we are uploading daily live streaming daily and i have a lot more content coming out asap asap